Some of you old timers will remember when Matchbox owned the Jurassic Park brand. I think these came out during the third Jurassic Park. During the second and third one, I think Matchbox just flooded the market with Jurassic Park stuff. You can go to eBay, you can find a ton of little play sets. Most of them came with a car and a little dinosaur and a little keeper and sort of sort of a little robotic arm that they used to catch the, the dinosaurs with. These are just some of the cars. I think these came from a five pack, if I remember right. And you will see the Jurassic Park logo all over those. Well, folks, I'm here to tell you that they are back. Hello everybody, it's Ellie Diecast and we are back to look at the Matchbox Jurassic Park cars that are starting to show up. Now I found these at Kmart. I don't think that they are exclusive to Kmart, but I've not seen them anywhere else. And I think they've just shown up. I couldn't really find too many of them at eBay either. Uh, if you remember, Matchbox owned the Jurassic Park license and still does. And it looks as though we're going to get about the same as what we got last time around. Except, I don't think these are really licensed very well for Jurassic Park. But we'll talk about that. Um, we'll take a look real quick on the back. It'll show you all the cars you can expect to find. It looks as though these might be coming out in two waves. Uh, I think I found everything except for there was a truck that I could not find. I think that's out in this wave, and I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason here on the back, but you can tell there's everything on the back, 2015, and you can check off which one you have. This is the Sea Spy. I have not seen the movie. As of when I'm shooting this, the movie is not out yet, um, but I don't know if this one has anything to do with the movie or not. I kind of doubt it does. Because all of these are just models that Matchbox has put out before. And they've just kind of sort of quickly branded them for Jurassic Park. And, well, Jurassic World, I guess we call it these days. You can see the logo there on the side. So this one is the, the uh, oh, Sea Spy. I don't know if that's the name it's been going on. That does not sound... <laughs> Let's take a look at this one. This is the Travel Tracker. And uh, we did just recently see this one released in the main lines with Matchbox. I don't remember if it was called Travel Tracker or not. I think it was. But that is the grounds crew. And I guess they all hop in there. It's got a little motorcycle on the front, which isn't very detailed, and a very flat motorcycle at that. And inside, it's kind of like a tour bus. I think the last time we saw this, it was like a safari bus in the main lines. <laughs> the Jurassic World isn't taking care of their employees very well. <laughs> this is the Rock Shocker. We've seen this one in the main lines before. I do really like those little dinosaur tampos though. That's what attracted me to these. I like anything dinosaurs. I don't know if if I've mentioned it before, but dinosaurs are about my second favorite thing next to Hot Wheels and just collect dinosaur stuff all day long. I'd probably do that maybe even instead of die cast. It's just it's too expensive. But I love me some dinosaurs. I don't know that I have high hopes for the movie, but you know, you put dinosaurs in a movie, you can't go wrong. This is the MBX 4x4. This one might be my favorite of the group that I picked up here. A lot of these cars are not particularly great cars for this brand. You can see that they just put the little Jurassic World uh, logo there, and it's really itty bitty, and that's not necessarily what I want. And then they didn't put anything on the hood. Come on, Matchbox, give me a little bit of, little bit of branding going on there. I do like that car, though. So, um, 
Next up, we've got the Cliffhanger. We've seen this guy as well in the Matchlock Matchbox mainlines. Boy, from the side of that, you would not even know that that was a Jurassic World car. There's one logo there on the front. I don't know if I can get my light good enough so you can see that. That is a picture of a... It's uh, like a raptor with the feathers on it. I think that's probably what they're calling a raptor in the movie. Can't tell from the side. Next up, last one. We've got... Mauler Hauler. <laughs> and I think this is meant to be a cage truck. This is really about the only one that really speaks to me as being kind of a Jurassic Park toy. But again, not a lot of room for branding on these. The models that they picked are a little odd. Usually when you see these branded products like this, they'll pick cars that have a much bigger footprint to kind of put the, the, the tampos and the decals on. Uh, this one, boy, you, you can barely see that. Um, this one would be cool if it came with a little dinosaur in the back. About, I want to say $1.60. They were a little bit more than the usual Matchbox cars, but I also got them at Kmart, so I don't know how much of that is Kmart and how much is the cost. I would not be surprised if these came out at Walmart if they were just a buck. And like I said, there's another wave of these coming out. Or I missed a whole box of them, but there's the, the back. Now, one other came out, and it was the De Desert Thunder V16 right there. And it's a big truck. The neat thing about that is it has all the tampos of the dinosaurs on the side. And I didn't see that one. I'm sure I'll find it. but And I don't know that these are going to be rare, seeing as the movie hasn't even come out yet. So I expect we'll see these everywhere. And I don't even know if they're going to be that popular. But, I like me some dinosaur. So, uh, pretty cool little trucks. I'm going to leave these in the packages until I know a little bit more about them. And uh, when I pick up the second wave of them, I'll share them with you here.